the same weekend that I hiked up to Lake Solitude and camped alone in the Bighorn Wilderness. I had planned to reward myself the next day with a much more relaxing afternoon camping out of my car. After one of the scariest moments of my life that morning, coming way too close for comfort to a big bull moose, on top of a restless night of little sleep that I spent imagining all the creatures who might be thinking of eating me where I lay in my tent, and after 15 long miles of hiking in the mountains, I was more than ready for a day of rest. While I was planning this trip, I had already pinned a few free campsite options to my Google map. So as I drove away from the trailhead, I headed toward the one that had had the best reviews online. Um, I drove down Crazy Woman Creek Road and found just the most perfect little campsite next to a waterfall and the creek. I'm so excited! As much as I was looking forward to relaxing in a beautiful campsite, I was surprised at how much resistance I suddenly felt toward the idea of spending so many hours alone somewhere doing quote unquote nothing. I'm starving! A part of me was so uncomfortable with the idea of so much quiet time in my own company that it was campaigning hard for me to cancel the second night and just drive straight home instead. All these ants are trying to eat my lunch. Once I pulled up to my home for the night though, I stopped worrying about how I would pass the time. I realized that if I could just remember to focus on each present moment, I would be able to find something beautiful to be grateful for there. When I was growing up, my family would go camping every summer. Some of my happiest memories are from those weekends spent at the lake. The day-to-day -day dramas of life at home would fade away in the sun as we immersed ourselves instead in the fresh air. As I sat in my hammock here near the creek, I felt a similar sense of childlike happiness soaking through my whole being. Time seemed to slow down as I absorbed the sound of water flowing by. My heartbeat synced up with the rhythm of the nearby waterfall, and I allowed myself to settle into the peace of my surroundings. I got all changed into my comfy sweatpants and sweater, and I'm boiling water to make dinner. I feel like I'm slowly uncovering clues to what really brings me joy with each experience like this one. Sometimes it seems a little silly to find so much meaning in simple decisions and activities like this, but when I have the luxury of so much time with nothing else to do but reflect, that's just where my thoughts always seem to drift to. I wanted to say thank you to you for coming along for this brief tour of my inner thoughts. Sharing these videos has been really fun and also a little frightening and vulnerable at times. I'm really grateful to everyone for watching and really excited to see what else is to come. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one.